Hello, good evening, Patricia. Hello, hello. We're just waiting for the rest. Okay. Hello, Patricia. Good evening, Erica. Good evening, teacher. How's it going? Excellent. Excellent. That's the attitude. I like that. It's going excellent. It's going great. Great, great, great. Okay. Okay, so let's start. Uh, today is what? Tuesday? So tell me, Erika, what did you do yesterday? Again? <laughs> no, what I mean? Come on. <laughs> uh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. Well, I talk about so a simple person yes simple past and present con uh, oh you were you were studying i just started the yesterday's lesson you started yesterday's lesson because yesterday yes. we, we were talking about um uh, Simple past versus present perfect. Perfect, yes. Okay. Did you study the, the, the chart with Box Bunny? Yes. I, the structure in affirmative, negative, interrogative, in the form they use. And the adverbs in preposition in the past participle. And the past participle, participle. Mm -hmm. participle. Okay. Okay, help me. How do you build a sentence with the present perfect? Mm -hmm. Present perfect. Maybe. I have gotten, I don't know. You don't remember. Okay, let's study. Mm -hmm. So in a positive form, the first thing that you need is a subject, right? Okay. Then we need the auxiliary. What is the auxiliary? Everybody, Marlon, welcome. Sorry. Have and has. Excellent. Have or has for he, she, it, right? What is next? To verb. Um, past. Um, it's not simple. It's continuous. Present continuous. Uh, past, no. past participle. <laughs> okay. Repeat. Past participle. Participle. There you go. Here's the stress. Past participle. Let me see if this thing. Past participle. Yeah, participle. So the stress is there. Participle. Okay. And then the complement. Complement. Yep. Simple as that. That's the positive structure. If you started the uh, Box Bunny little chart that I sent you yesterday, you you could have understood that. So. 
vamos a hacer una cosa, porque sé que hay muchos acá que, que eh, probablemente se les haga un poco más difícil. Bien, eh, súper rápido. Para hacer una oración en, y por cierto, estamos hablando únicamente del presente perfecto, el pasado lo abarcamos al principio de la unidad, ahí está en el video, de este módulo, perdón. So, presente perfecto. Tengo un sujeto, el auxiliar será have o has. Have, ¿para qué sujetos? Rápido. I, you, we, they. Excellent. I, you, we, they, have. Y has sería para qué sujetos? He, she, it. He, she, it. Perfect. Luego tenemos el past participle. Súper rápido. ¿Cuál es el past participle de un verbo? Es su tercera forma. Por ejemplo, si yo digo correr, corrí, corrido. Escribir, escribí, escribido. Ah, cuidado. Eh. <ríe> Escrito. Tengan cuidado con eso. Ok, hablar. Hablé, hablado, soñé, soñar, perdón, soñar, soñé, soñado, etcétera, saltar, salté, saltado, la tercera forma, saltado, ok, so if you find it, ahí está en el, en el listado de verbos que les envié, la tercera forma, recomendación, estudiar eh, pasado simple, aprendete la forma de participio del pasado de todos los verbos de una sola vez, ¿Sí? se te va a facilitar mucho, so, sujeto, Auxiliar, pasado participio, complemento. De una forma afirmativa. Negativo, como el 90% de las estructuras gramaticales en inglés, el auxiliar será el que lleve la partícula not. ¿Ok? A él le voy a agregar la negativa al auxiliar. ¿Ok? Y es lo único que cambia entre una afirmación y una negación. El not. Not. De igual manera, se lo voy a poner acá de una sola vez. Yo puedo contractuar y decir. Bueno, vamos a ver las contracciones en un minuto, ¿ok? Prefiero abordarlas separado. Último. Question. Como el 90% de las estructuras gramaticales, traigo el auxiliar al frente y ya traigo el have o el has al principio, ok, luego sigue un sujeto, ok, y luego lo mismo, un pasado participio y un complemento para seguir con la oración. Ahora bien, no se nos olvide el question mark. Repito, auxiliar, sujeto, pasado participio del verbo, ok, y el complemento. Y por último, una pregunta abierta. Ojo, esta pregunta cerrada solo la puedo contestar como. Thank you. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Excellent. Thank you very much. No, I haven't. Solo así la puedo contestar. La cerrada. Ok. Ahora, ¿por qué se le llama pregunta abierta? Porque está buscando información específica, el por qué, el cómo, el cuándo, el dónde. Ok. Entonces, lo único que voy a hacer es agregar una palabra WH, como why, how, where, when, which, right? Antes de una pregunta cerrada. Ok. Y ya tengo una pregunta abierta. Why have you studied uh, math? Why have you studied English? Y eso es el presente perfecto. A esta pregunta sí ya puedo extenderme y hablar hasta que me detengan. Good. WH, auxiliar, sujeto, pasado participio, complemento. And that's it. Bien, si quieren revisar esto, pues hoy que les envíe el link, véanlo cuántas veces sea necesario para, para entender la estructura que lleva el presente perfecto como se los he enviado en ese cuadrito. Está bien explicado y hay otros detalles como qué um, adverbios se pueden ocupar. Bien, continuando con esto, súper rápido, puedo contractuar. Y hay dos contracciones que debo de comprender y, y aplicar para hacer más breve mi um, speech, mi manera de hablar, mi discurso, ¿no? Eh, primero, agregar el apóstrofe VE a los verbos como I, you, we, they. Repito, I, you, we, they sería I've, 
you've with Dave. Okay, I've you've with Dave. De la misma manera. Solo agrego el sujeto. Okay. With Dave. Okay. He has sería para las terceras personas, right? It's uh -huh, his. Nit, uh, what did I do? She's. Lo puse en desorden. So it's his she's. Teacher, pero eso que no es el verbo to be. No. Porque después de esto, según lo veías acá, después del auxiliar, vendría un verbo en el pasado participio, entonces no habría donde perderse, right? She's been here before. Ella ha estado acá antes. Lo que me indica y no me permite perderme es que el verbo está en pasado participio, ¿ok? Good. Segunda regla de contracción. Si voy a negar, sí, puedo contractuar haven't uy, sorry haven't o oh, hasn't ok questions questions I have a question thank you why the example from yesterday uh, uh, the word ever is, isn't necessary. Oh, good. When we make a question, cuando hacemos una pregunta, podemos ocupar adverbios también. Ever se puede ocupar en positivas y en, perdón, en questions y en negativas. Okay. Ever. Uh -huh. Ahora bien, al usar never en una oración afirmativa, la vuelve negativa. Ok, por ejemplo, I've never told you that. Ok, I've never told you that. Yo nunca te he dicho eso. Más no podría decir, I've ever. Mm -mm. Eso no, no se puede ocupar ever en positiva, tendría que ocupar. Ok, thank you, always. <laughs> I've always told you that. Es adverbio de frecuencia. Son adverbios todos. Very good. Good. I've never. Eso ya la hace negativa la oración positiva. Eh, what else? Siguiendo tu ejemplo, eh, Rebeca. Vamos a ver. Negativa. Vamos a ver. I have. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't. Ever seen that movie. I haven't ever seen that movie. Yo nunca he visto esa película. Nunca he visto esa película. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen that movie? Y el contexto cambia y ever se convierte en alguna vez. Okay, have you ever seen that movie? Yeah. No, es necesario. Have you seen that movie? Have you seen that movie? ¿Has visto esa película? Have you ever seen that movie? ¿Alguna vez has visto esa película? El inglés no es traducido textualmente del, de, de la gramática. ¿Sí me explico? De la gramática no lo puedes traducir textualmente al español. Y de hecho, tú le vas a dar eh, la, um, tu propia traducción y eso lo he visto muchísimo en siete años ya eh, las personas traducen acorde a su nivel de literatura acorde a lo que han leído durante su vida y entre más adulto estás más vocabulario debería de tener pero si sos muy perezoso y no has leído a esas alturas pues tu léxico, tu vocabulario no estará muy avanzado y traducirás a un nivel muy básico si, no, si lo han notado con el estado de cursos Okay, good. Any other question? Questions, questions, questions. Okay, 
Good. No more questions. I have a question for you. No. Ya empezar con la locura. Yes. Um. Okay, so to practice this topic, we're studying, which is the present perfect versus the past simple, right? What's the topic? Have you ever traveled? Where? And how was it? Okay, let me give you an example. Yes, I have been to Paris last week. And I'm missing the capital P. I went to Paris last week with my friend Johnny. We spent the whole week doing shoppings. What am I doing wrong there? Two P's. Mm hmm. It's not recognizing it. Okay. okay. Shopping, whole week shopping with Mariah. And she is too fancy. If I may say, I've traveled. London to and it was a terrific experience. I felt in love there. Okay, that's my example. You have to make your own example. Now, yes, I've been to Paris last week with my friend Johnny. We spent the whole week shopping with Mariah and she's too fancy, if I may say. I've traveled to London too and it was a terrific experience. I fell in love. Hmm. Teacher. Okay. I fell in love there. Easy to get confused, okay. I fell in love there. So this is my example. Now make up your own example. And I'll repeat again, figure it out. Picture yourself as a millionaire, somebody with a lot of money. You have gone, you've gone the whole world. You've gone all around the world. So make up a story. Do you understand the activity? Yeah, it's easy, right? Okay, guys, so let's work together on this. I'm gonna split you in groups so you can practice for a few minutes and then we will, we will move on to the next topic, okay? This is your questions, these are your questions, okay? Have you ever traveled? Where and how was it? Good, I'll split you right now so you can practice with your classmates. Don't forget to see this video again. Okay, there you go. Good, I'm gonna split you. Do you have any questions? No, no, okay, thank you. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Okay, accept the invitation so we can start. Hello. Okay, hello, German. We're waiting for Carlos and 
available to turn on Hello, the teacher. Welcome. microphone. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm not here. Don't pay attention to me. Just go ahead. Okay. Okay, guys, you need to start talking and make the question to your classmates. Sorry, teacher, I have a problem with my internet. Oh, sorry to hear that. It's referring for the topic. It's a question for the topic. Um, it's yes, it's just a question for you to practice. So if I ask German, for example, have you ever traveled? Where and how was it? German will need to give it's us an a, example. Mm -hmm. It's a whole topic. The weekend. No, 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 one topic. No, it's just an open question. Tenés que imaginarte que tenés dinero y has viajado a muchos lugares. Entonces explícanos. La pregunta es, ¿has viajado alguna vez? ¿A dónde? ¿Y cómo estuvo? ¿Cómo fue la experiencia que viviste? Ok. So, you have to explain. As I give you the example, for example, I went to London and I loved it. Uh, it was an amazing experience. Um, I went to Paris and I met the um, Eiffel Tower, for example. Ok. 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 Good, German. Carlos, go ahead. Okay. Uh, yes, I I have been to Peru. Oh, really? In, in January of, of this, this year, year. In January. Uh, in January, yes, in January of this, this year. year. Mm -hmm. This year. Uh, with my my family with my family with my family with my family perfect how was it german uh, how was it um... it was It um, it was uh, beautiful, splendid, nice. nice. The beach, the mountains. Okay. Yes, the the mountains. The ruins, the ruins, the cultural yes. places, the mountains. Excellent. Keep going. Keep going. Don't stop talking. Try it. Okay. Now, somebody else, make the question. Hello. Um, okay. Um, New York. Yeah. Okay. Erica. Can okay. you us, have you ever traveled? Where and how was it? Okay. Yes, I traveled to Japan and Tokyo Tower and no sé si los verbos se usan en el pasado, ¿verdad? This uh -huh. is sí, yes. no estoy seguro. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, and visited the Tokyo Tower and I eaten the 
Japan input and can you hear? Okay, looks like Eric is having some connectivity problems. Okay, try, let's try it with someone else. Okay, Erica, can you hear us? Le escuché hasta que comió comida japonesa. O, no sé si, si así dijo. No, pero no se puede comer en la clase. Oh, I mean, you, I'm sorry. <laughs> o sea, hasta ahí le escuché. Yes. Que estaba okay. comiendo comida japonesa. Ahí se salió. Oh, yeah. She had a problem with her connectivity. Okay. Try it. Rebecca, make the question to Stephanie or vice versa. Okay. Stephanie, have you ever traveled? Where and how was it? Que tan brava. Ah. <laughs> Smart. Estoy concentrada. Okay, good. Stephanie, no go ahead. Pensar. <laughs> Lo que ya te había comentado, Rebe. Mm -hmm. I have traveled to Panama for five days for work. I stayed at the Hard Rock Hotel. I ate the famous New York steak dish. The famous New York steak dish. Uh -huh. Dish, okay. Uh -huh. Wow. It is say that Panama is a mini Miami. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Who did you go with? <laughs> Um, who did you go with? Mm, I went with equipo team. The team. Uh huh. With my jobs team, my work team. Okay. I went with the the work team. With my work team. Uh, mm -hmm. Un consejo. Eh, no, bueno. En entrevistas se suele hacer esto, si notaste. Para sacarte de tu área de confort, el entrevistador siempre te va a hacer una pregunta como adicional. Porque mm -hmm. al final el complemento de todo lo que tú decís lo formas de hacer esas preguntas. ¿Cómo? ¿Cuándo? ¿Dónde? Entonces quiero que empeces a pensar en eso. ¿Qué más puedes agregar a una oración? ¿El qué? ¿El cuándo? ¿El cómo? ¿Ya? ¿Con mm -hmm. quién? ¿Good? Ok. Ok. Now you make the question, Stephanie, to Rebecca. Ya se me olvidó cómo era. Ah, pero aquí están en el, en el chat. But have you ever traveled, Rebecca? Yes, I have. I have traveled to Spain a couple of years ago. I visited my best friend. She lives in Madrid. And we ate a lot of Spanish food like tortilla española and paella. And they drink a lot of wine. Uh, we drank uh, some new ones. It was an amazing exper experience. And we traveled to, for a weekend to France. France, okay. Mm -hmm. And we stayed and near to the Eiffel Tower. We saw the Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. I don't know that word. Notre Dame Tower or Notre Dame Not Cathedral? Cathedral. And uh, it was a dream for us. We stayed there like three days for the weekend. And then we came back to Spain to have more experience there. We visited some museums and other kind of restaurants. 
Oh my God. Did you have a crazy night in Spain or France? <laughs> no, 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 okay. Thank you. That's good enough. <laughs> What? Me dijeron que tenía que preguntar algo adicional. Yes, Estoy preguntando. Too much. She was very explicit. Don't worry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> good question. Good question. En, en call center terminology, terminología de call center. Too much information. It's TMI. <laughs> That's TMI. Don't go there. TMI. <laughs> Too much information. Okay. Repeat, Rebecca. Traveled. 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 Okay. Friends. Friends. I fell. I fell. The Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower. Very good. Cathedral. 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 Mm -hmm. Notre, Notre Dame Cathedral. 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 Yeah, that's a difficult word. Okay, good job. Okay, Eric is back. Uh, so you should go ahead and ask her the question again. See what she has to say, okay? I'll go with another team. Good job. Okay, thank you. Okay. Oh my God, beautiful Spanish. Yeah. You see, lo leemos. I've been at Dubai last month. Disculpe, que no es yes, I have. Hay que ponerle un punto y es I... I, I try, I, oh, I, I been. Let's see. Yes, uh, okay, let's see. Yes, yes I have. I've been to. I have been. Uh huh. I've been to Dubai last month. Without the. No, without the. I went with my brother and we've bought three cars. Mm. What about we bought? Ya es tiempo pasado. Compramos. We bought three cars. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I need to remove so, but and just buy. Uh, yes, just remove VE, the contraction. We bought. Okay. There you go. We bought three cars. The first one for me, the second one for him. 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 That's right. Second one for him. And the third one was for our mother and the third one for our mother. Pero it was. Um, no, porque ya está en contexto que estás hablando de, de, de third one, del tercero. The, okay, the third just was. One, the third one. For my mother. For our mother, I'm sorry. For my mother. For our mother. Okay. For our mother. Okay. At night, um, there should be a period. Not a semi, that's a semicolon. We need a period, capital, okay. At night, we went to have dinner at the luxurious restaurant in the city. Then we met with some friends to travel to Italy. And when we finally arrived, we drank a lot of wine. Perfect. That's the way. So you see, you went from present perfect to past simple. Narrating a story because it was experienced, but it finished, right? Right, teacher. That's the whole point. Okay. Any questions? No. Okay. No, no, right now. Okay. Now I need you to talk. Okay. Start making the questions to Patricia, to Edwin, to Victor. Okay. Among yourselves, start making the questions. Have you ever traveled? Where? And how was it? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Go, 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 go. Okay, okay Patricia, how have you, you ever... Tell me, tell me, Patricia, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever traveled, Marlon? Um, yes, and the last week I went with with my girlfriend to Italy to taste a delicious pizza. And then we went to a winery teacher. Is a winery? 
Um, sorry. Winery. We went to a winery. Yeah, you can say that. We went okay. to a winery. We went to a winery to to buy the uh, to 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 buy the expensive wine in the in the in the at the store. Um. Right after we come back to El Salvador, and that was all. Oh, it's a, a it's a great experience. Yeah, it was a great experience. I I I wish could be could be a real experience, but we are drama com, dramatizing the teacher. Dramatizing. Drama, dramatizing. Dramatizing. And you, Patty. Have you ever traveled? Traveled? No, I. I know travel. I haven't traveled. I know haven't traveled. I haven't traveled. Last, I I haven't traveled. Mm -hmm. The last three years. For the last three years. For the for last, last for last three for years. The last three years. Okay, I haven't traveled for the last three years. Very good. Okay. And you have, have you ever traveled? Yes. No, I haven't traveled uh, since Perfecto era. Sujeto, después de eso, el had o has, y el not, yes. más el pasado en participio. Perú has, Perú. Uh, creo, creo, creo que está acá el. Has, in Machu Picchu has uh, llamas o cómo se llaman. Llamas, sería llamas. igual en. El... Flames? No, ya, animales, animales. Animales. Ah, yeah, animal. yeah. Animals. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're... English, llamas. In Machu Picchu has llamas. Yeah. Llamas. Llamas. ¿Cómo se pone? ¿Cómo se escribe llama? Call. No, no, pero es llamada. No, llama. <laughs> de animal. Llama. Porque ¿cómo se le llama? Otro nombre. Yeah, I heard flames. Yeah. Oh, flames, flames for fire. I know, but I heard flames. There's actually a t-shirt, a t-shirt with that joke. It says, I touched uh, a flame. I touched <laughs> a flame. I don't know. Okay. Well, let's talk. So let's make the question. Mm -hmm. Have you ever traveled? Where and how was it? Hmm? Have you ever traveled? Ooh. Who who are you asking to? Abigail, Maria Luisa, yeah. Mercy? Have you ever traveled to Peru? Okay, you're being Travel specific. To America. Okay, so let me make the question to Abigail. Have you ever traveled? Um yes, I traveled to South America in my last vacation. Okay, South America, uh -huh. South America. South. I'm on last vacation. South. Okay, where? Where in South America? Uh, we traveled with my classmate. We mm. went to Machu Picchu in train visit. Okay, how was it? It's a beautiful place and a cool um, weather in the cool. Uh, Are you trying to say that the weather is cold? Yes, it's cool. Okay, the weather is cold. It's cold, the cold. Or cool. Um, Rain. Two options. <laughs> Both options. It's cool, yes. It's cool, cool <laughs> and cold. Okay, cool and cold. Okay. Mercy, have you ever traveled? Ooh. 
soy sincera, acabo de entrar teacher, y me incorporé con las últimas okay. oraciones, entonces. Ok, let's try to be on time. Uh, ayer les envié un cuadro con todos los, um, eh, todo lo que tiene que ver con estructura, lo hemos abordado el día de ahora, les sugiero que vea este video de nuevo para, okay. para informarse un poquito. Eh. Les voy a enviar el link al final de la clase al grupo okay. de WhatsApp para que ustedes puedan revisar la clase, ¿ok? Good, María Luisa. Hazme el favor. Mm -hmm. have, you, have you ever traveled, María Luisa? Yes, yes. I have, I have, I, I, ha, I have traveled to United States. Oh, really? Where? Yes, I, 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 I went at, at the park, the park, the Disney, in the park, Disney. Disney park. Mm -hmm. Disney park. Uh-huh. I traveled with my, my classmate. Mm. Uh -huh. And the, the, the park, the, the park is um, Orlando, Florida. I visited um, Echo Center mm -hmm. in Animal Kingdom. Yeah. Animal Kingdom is, uh, is beautiful. Is it a zoo? Yeah, it is zoo. It's, it's a, a zoo. Elephant. Okay. Is, uh, I saw elephants. I saw giraffes. I saw your, uh -huh. giraffes. I saw, I saw um, zebras. See. Zebras? Zebra. Zebras. Okay. Zebras. Okay. Zebras. Zebras. <laughs> uh, I see. Um, I saw. Monkey. I saw I monkeys. Saw, I saw monkeys. Mm -hmm. I I saw um, uh, a tiger? No. A tiger. Lions. A tiger? Uh huh. Bears. Yes. And, and Echo Center is is uh, mechanic mechanic jue juegos mecánicos. Meca electromechanical. Electromechanic. Uh huh. Is liberty. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. In Great! The it's fabulous. <laughs> Excellent, Maria Luisa. I love that. Hey, Maria Luisa, repeat. Uh -huh. Traveled. 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 The. Traveled. There you go. Traveled. Okay, traveled. I traveled. Then I went to Disneyland, Disney Park. I went to. I went to. Disney, Disney Park. Park. Disney. Disney. Park. Disney. 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 Yeah. Disney. Americans. Americans say Disney. We uh, in Latin America, we say Disney. And it's okay. It is okay. Disney. 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 Okay. okay. Classmates. 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 Class Classmates. Classmates. Okay. Wait. Listen. Class Mate. Wait, wait, wait. Listen and then you wait one second, okay? You say classmates. Classmate. Mate. There you go. Okay. Great job. Practice, practice. Let's go back. Okay. Hey, let's let's go back to the main session, okay? And me? Oh yeah, sure. Right now, Giovanni. <laughs> Come back, baby, come back. I have climbed high the mountains. I have run through the fields only to be with you. Only to be with you. I have run through the fields 
I have grown. Who's sing? These city walls. These city walls. Come on. But I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see, Giovanni. Let's do it. Come on, you can do it. Turn on your microphone. Okay. Okay, ready, Giovanni? So, have you ever traveled? Yes, I, I traveled. Where? I traveled to, um, four years ago hmm. to England with my old friends and we go to concert to a concert mm -hmm. to concert okay we go to we go to concert in in a pub in in london and we go to to see a all all good bands and from many years ago. Wow. What was your favorite part of the trip? My, well, my favorite part is come with my friends and, oh, um, <laughs> there you go. Came, was. Came, came with, was, was, was with my friends and, Okay, was with my friends and and drink, drink a okay. lot. Okay, okay, excellent, great job. So my favorite part was being with my friends and drink and get drunk, <laughs> get really drunk. Okay, so you started very good, actually, great job. Hey, don't stop talking, guys. Whenever you have to talk in front of the class, don't stop. Just keep going. Make mistakes. Please make mistakes. I need you to make mistakes. So let's see. Um, we needed to say we went, we went to a concert. We went to a concert. We went to a concert. And it was in a pub in London. You know what is a pub, Marlon, Rebecca? Havel, yeah, a pub. Club just to drink. <laughs> it's like a bar. <laughs> it's actually the, it's, like uh, it's what I would say is like, like what British, what British use uh, instead of bar. And in reality, it is a very old house with a bar. That's it. It's a house where they sell drinks. Because in the ancient uh, times, you know, long time ago, a lot of uh, workers, after going out of work, they used to stop in that corner. They used to stop in that house and have some beers. That's it. And then keep going home. So that, uh, that's an, there's an amazing story about pubs. Okay. In London, we went to see all good bands, rock bands, right? Like that. Um, my favorite part was being with my friends. Great job, Giovanni. That's the way. I want to make you a question, guys. I want to see you all when I make this question. Did you research about the jam technique? Did you research about the jam technique? No, the just a minute technique? Did I tell you about it? Yeah, I told you, right? Okay. Hmm. Google it, okay? That's gonna help you go in front of the mirror and start talking just about anything. If you wanna talk about a face, face, okay, a face is important for somebody. I mean, I, I can't imagine what will I do without a face. I need a forehead, my eyebrows, my eyes, I mean, my nose. Can you imagine being without a face? Keep talking, one minute, okay? Make mistakes. Okay, let's, Keep going. Let's make the question to someone else. We're just reviewing again the past perfect, I mean, sorry, the present perfect against the present, I'm sorry, the past simple. Present perfect against past simple. My brain is getting tired, sorry. 
Giovanni, select somebody. Sorry, I, 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 I can hear you. Can you choose some, someone? Okay, um, Victor Palacios. Victor Palacios, where's Victor Palacios? Oh, there it is. Hi, Victor. Uh, hi, teacher. How are you, Victor? Hi. <laughs> I'm gonna play your game, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, Victor. Okay, good, Victor, ready. Have you ever traveled, Victor? Yes, uh, I, 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 yes, I, yeah, I have. I, I've been in Lima two years ago uh, for for my work uh, in a seminar for for a, for me for me for my job uh, is a uh, about. Uh, credit loss and, and, and provision, but it's, a, it's my work for the uh, make standard for the for the banks. Uh, I, I I I stay in in uh, the famous district in Lima is uh, San Isidro. Is a um, San Isidro City Municipio. What the same? Well, okay. It's the city most important in Lima for the business uh, and television uh, uh, television state, station. Uh, 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 it's a uh, uh, more for people rich in Lima. In the night, it's a, it's a solitary place, but the, uh, the people want to go to the house. But uh, 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 a small uh, uh, bar uh, for the for the, uh, conversation with the partners, uh, it's a very, it's a very interesting uh, place, Lima. Lima, Peru. Yes. Okay, great and, job. And uh -huh. the Lima is a, is a from the Indonesia, the Pacific is a, is a, is a, is a you, uh, world, uh, and and the and the street is a, a finally the the city is a. Uh, the sea, uh, the sea. You, you uh, the I city. The city yes. is by the sea. Yes, uh, oh. near, near. Yes, near. It's the shore. The shore is a uh, uh, across the the streets. The, the street. Oh, the shore. The, the, the shore. streets yes. are close to the shore. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Great job, Victor. Okay. I think I think this really happened, right? <laughs> You're not yes. making up things. Okay. Good. Vamos a ver el feedback. Um, voy a hablar español un segundo porque quiero contarles un, una historia. Fíjense que tenía una alumna, eh, mi trabajo era evaluar alumnos también, no solo los profesores, eh, y tenía una alumna que ella llevaba seis meses culiéndola. La chica se esmeraba exagerado, o sea, una persona muy humilde, pero, y no se vayan a sentir mal, o sea, ahí lo traigo a colación, porque solo una vez cometió esta, este pequeño error. Eh, Víctor decía yej, ahí con yej, yej, o sea, la S no salió, vea, sino que salió una J. Pues ella tenía esto, la envié varias veces a entrevistas y uy, se podía la gramática, perfecto. Esa chica no me cometía ningún error, pero habían dos cosas que no le ayudaban. Y en buena onda se los cuento. Eh, uno, su apariencia usaba coletillas, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Trenzas hacia atrás con, con moñitos, ¿cómo se dice? Con ay, la, las sillos, no sé, en las trenzas. Coles. Colas, coletas, ¿no? Y, Ole. Ajá, y, y era morenita. Y, y el acento, el acento humilde que tenía, se le había pasado al inglés. 
Entonces todas las entrevistas era como que, híjole. Entonces, ¿y saben cómo lo corrigió? Le costó, ¿eh? Le costó otros seis meses, ya fuera de la academia, corregir eso del acento. Y la única manera de hacerlo fue cantando. So, <ríe> es importante que tú aprendas a imitar el acento de alguien. Oí bien, es importantísimo. Hace poco murió Sean Connery. Víctor, Sean Connery. Sí. Se murió, viejo. El Sir, perdón, Sir John Con Sir Sean Connery. Ya era, ya había sido nombrado por la reina. O sea, y les traigo colación Sean Connery porque los hindús, de hecho una gran industria de call centers, este, imitaban mucho el acento de Sean Connery. Se volvió popular eso. Ok, so, les vamos a trabajar en eso, ¿eh, Víctor? Yes. Eh, sí, eh, yo, bueno, yo he tenido otros cursos de inglés. Hoy he hablado con unas compañeras que, ah, pueden inglés, uh -huh. pero dicen que escuchar canciones por ejemplo, de los 80 o de los, o por ejemplo, no, no sé, han escuchado a Parry Como, es un cantante más o menos de religioso, de allá uh -huh. por los 60, uh -huh. que canta canciones en inglés, pero son bien calmadas, bien pausadas, y se les entiende bien el, el inglés. Pero las palabras, la gente, dice que es bueno escuchar las palabras, sí, eh, esas sí. canciones para, para, para aprender inglés. Totalmente, Víctor, de acuerdo con usted ahí, Air Supply, este, todo, todo lo que sea de los 80, de hecho, me parece mucho, eh, muy bien, música calmada, de eh, recientes, Adele, Bruno Mars, las calmadas, eh, Bruno Mars, este, y así, hay un montón de, de grupos. Vamos a ver, eh, for my work, I went there for my work, can, so, can somebody help me, what's the right preposition. Is it for my work? I went there for my work. Purpose. Fui ahí de mi trabajo. Es lo que se trata de decir, Victor. So, for my work. Y muchos están haciendo esto. Me ocupan for en lugar de by. By, mm, by no. my work. Mm, mm, mm. By sería como ir pasando por el trabajo. Uh -huh. By my work. Because of, because of my work, I went there because of my work. Or in business, I went there in business. Okay. Uh, credit loss and provisions. Me parece super bien, Victor. Quería preguntarle si se refería a appraisals. Appraisals. Um, ¿Cómo se dice cuando alguien evalúa tu terreno, tu casa? Ah, balúos. Ajá, eso es eso. Es, no, no, son como la traducción es reservas de, de, de riesgo crediticio o de, o de pérdida oh, de crédito. Oh, ok. Yes. Risk yes. appraisals, then. Así sería. Yes, risk it, it, appraisals. It, it's credit risk. Credit, credit risk, risk appraisal. Yes. Eres, es un appraisal, es una evaluación. Ok, very good. Yeah. Uh, vamos a aclarar algo. De Lima. De, el artículo de no lo puedo agregar a un país que no lo tenga en su constitución y el único que lo tiene en inglés es the United States and the United Kingdom pero eso lo tengo que averiguar, siempre digo que lo voy a averiguar y no lo averiguo, United Kingdom yo creo que en su constitución United Kingdom no tiene el artículo the United Kingdom, the United States y en español es como que te digan vos sos Salvador Uh -huh. eh, vos sos de El Salvador, vos sos de Salvador, no, vos sos de El Salvador, El Salvador. Lo mismo le pasa a un americano, ok. Good, de Lima. Um, isn't the sea, is by the sea, y ahí sí, Marlon, is by the sea. Is by the sea, the, the city is by the seashore, by the seashore. Ok, uh -huh. sí. Ok, great job. Repito, practiquen. Háganse, y esto de hecho es una pregunta que yo hacía como reclutador, me encantaba molestar a la gente con esto para ver qué tanto podían hablar inglés, los torturaba, ¿sí? Les decía, ok, mira, te voy a hacer una pregunta, ok, I'm going to make you a question, I'm going to give you a word, just one word, and you have 30 seconds to talk about this, ok, got it, you got it, one word, 30 seconds, ready, rocks. And start talking about rocks. Okay, rocks are are of multiple colors and they're rounded and they're 
si me ocupaban rounded, multiple colors, y me daban, por ejemplo, tres, cinco colores difíciles, era como que, wow, yeah, super good. Ok, hacete esa prueba, pregúntate algo así, intenta hablar por cierto periodo de tiempo sobre una cosa específica que nunca has hablado. Ok, make it up, guys. Usen su cerebro más, 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 you can do it. Ok, I'll see you tomorrow so we can move on with the next topic, ok? See you tomorrow. Good night. Yeah. Bye. 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 Tenemos, una, tenemos una actividad mañana. No vayan a faltar, por favor, ¿ok? Ok. Take okay. care. Good night. Bye bye. Be careful. Bye. Okay. <laughs> bye bye.